Hey guys, so today we're gonna fix up these old early 1900s uh, Justin boots. Um, from all the research I can tell, I'm guessing they're from anywhere from 1900 to 1930. Uh, if you have any more information on this style, I would love to hear it. Um, they seem to be in pretty good condition, really just dry, and you can kind of see needs a little bit of love. Replace the laces. Biggest thing is going to be replacing this heel block. Yeah, pull this out. Clean and condition the boot and then polish, replace the laces, and install a new one. So, let's start by pulling this guy off. That's not working as well. I'll go with that. Definitely not expecting this bit of steel to be in there. Well made boots, that's for sure. I'm hoping I don't have to replace this entire heel block. I don't really want to do that, but I might have to looking at these nails but I'll see if I can get them out see what the new hole pattern looks like and if I'm gonna have to replace that all or not all right, well, keep at it This one's completely dried out. Feels like paper almost. See how rotted, dry rotted that is. I'm gonna use this as a template to make new heel block because I can't in good conscience reuse this leather. It's too shot. We'll do that and then we'll get new heels fitted to it. See what happens. So the current plan is I need to find some leather in stock that has about that thickness. I think I got some. Then I'm gonna to need to cut out enough to match this heel Cut out this little horseshoe part so that fits perfectly on the rounded bottom 
of the shoe here. Um, you can kind of see how that fits nice and cups it. So I'll need to make that to remake this. I don't think I want to redo this whole sole yet, but we'll find out. All right, let's do it. realized I messed up on the last one. This line is too close. I need a little bit more wiggle room. So I'm just gonna fill in the outside, cut out on here so I can sand down the heel block to the right size. All right, gotta turn this into this guy. So I'm going to try to very carefully measure out here transfer it to this, and then carve it out. Wish me luck. up with it's not perfect but it'll work for the heel next up is glue this together and then dye the heel block okay well the original plan was to clean these after I replaced the heel block. But now I have a brand new heel block that I need to dye. I need to know what color that's gonna be. So, we clean them now, figure out what color this ends up being, and then I can match the heel block to look attractive next to that. Start by using Bic number one leather cleaner. Gently pull off some of that surface dirt. See how much it's just in there. Now with the cleaned, we get it with some conditioner. I just go a little lot. Eventually it all soak into the boot. And this one feels dry. Alright, got this nice and conditioned. I have no idea how many layers I put on. It just kind of went until it stopped absorbing more. But I might put a couple of layers before I finally do the polish. Uh, color didn't change too much, luckily. So I'll get the heel block sanded down, get that reapplied. And once that's done, I'll get the new one, new rubber block, to go on the bottom. And we should have some semblance of a boot left.
turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it for my first time ever doing this. It's not perfect. Dye this guy. I should say this lady. And then get this finally polished up and see how Molly likes it. I'm gonna grab a paintbrush for this. thing that needs to happen to this is polish it to get those nice waxes and everything on it to protect the leather um, and then bring some of the color back some of the spots that are nicked up so just put it on and buff it out <laughs> <laughs> 